Hey guys, what's going on? And in today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about the brand new uh, fusion rifle I got. And it's called Pocket Infinity, and you can only get it from doing uh, the Shattered Memory Fragment Exotic Bounty. Before I start the video, I'd just really, really, really like to thank you guys so much for the support you gave me in my last video. It really means a lot to me how much you supported it and how well it's done. And I just, once again, just really wanted to thank you so much. Um, if you could do the same for this video, that would be really awesome. And uh, like I said again, it really means a lot to me. So just one, maybe one like, which takes one second of your time, just really means a lot. So thank you. And now enjoy the video. And in the background, you're just seeing me using it in PvP. In this video, I'm just going to be talking to you um, about the upgrades of the Pocket Infinity, but also how good I think it is and if you should use it or not. Now, the Pocket Infinity, when you first get it, it's it's just very average. It's got a low charge rate, high impact fusion rifle, quite ordinary. But the thing that makes this gun stand out than all the others is that it has this upgrade which is just absolutely insane where you can fire in full auto and if you miss some shots there has a chance to, to return right back to the magazine. Here you can just see him demolishing people and this guy actually self resurrects and I still kill him just as he self resurrects which just shows how powerful this gun is. This guy just, he, he does not stand a chance against my fusion rifle just because of how fast firing it is. And that was actually a really good example of how um, I'm actually actually missed a shot, but because the upgrade where it, one shot will, could return back to my magazine, I was I managed to kill it. And unfortunately, this gun did receive enough about uh, two or three weeks ago now. And before that, it was literally insane. I wish I would have got it before the nerf. But before the nerf, what it did is. There was a perk where it let you go an upgrade, where it let you extend the magazine to eight, and you could just literally just, just continuous fire, and you could just destroy. You could kill about three or four people in one clip, include, and that's including with um, the special ability where the ammo can basically go right back to the magazine if you miss. But unfortunately, I didn't get it then. But it's still, even when up, I think it's one of the best guns in the game to use in PvP because like, look here. Just turn around, look at the corner, and then just instantly destroy him. Um, look, and this guy who I just killed, him, he he had the first I don't know three or four shots on me, and I think a few of those were headshots. I still managed to kill him really easily. Although the one thing this gun isn't very good at is close range, because um, at close range you can get quite easily outputted by um, some shotguns, just because they'll be able to put out more damage faster. Than them. But this gun, because this gun's a fusion rifle, lead. and normally when you use a fusion rifle, you say, I say, if you get at least 80% of your shots in target, you'll kill them. But this gun has a clip of three, so you have three times more likely to kill them, and it fires super fast, and you can have even more than three shots if you're lucky. And ammo goes back to your magazine. Also, um, this gun has an upgrade where it has, um, very low recoil, which is actually what I prefer. They, um, when they did enough. All what they did is replace this increased magazine perk on the gun just to speed reload so that you can reload the gun faster, which is really annoying actually. And I actually tried out the speed reload, but the recoil is pretty bad just because it's full auto, so it just kicks up really quickly. And so I prefer low recoil just because you can take people out at mid range or even assault rifle range if you're accurate enough, just because of how powerful it is. Like. Um, the recall is pretty bad unless you have this perk and that's why I always love to run it. Just to emphasize my point earlier, like this gun is really really good, like even though it's an, because it's an exotic, it will take up my exotic slots, so for example I wouldn't be able to use a gun like Suos Regime into primary because of it. But actually on most maps I'd say only the only of um, exceptions, like maybe first lights, you know on the moon, long range maps or one of the other long range maps in the game, then I may inbound. switch it out for Suros, but most of the time, if you just want a decent, legendary, or even better, primary rifle, then I'd much rather use Heavy the Pocket Infinity available. alongside it, because it's, it's literally so good, it's basically a shotgun at close range, but you can also take people out from afar really easily, and that's what I just love about this gun, it's just like, <laughs> it's just so good, so e and it's really easy to get used to as well. Like you just have to basically aim and shoot and then you're gonna get a basically guaranteed kill 
Zone B and I'm, I'm glad, in terms of the gun itself, I'd say it looks pretty damn awesome. It's got this kind of really unique sight for a fusion rifle. And if you notice carefully, in some dark lights, um, you'd see a star in the, very, in the very middle of the iron sight. It looks pretty cool. It's a red iron sight, and it's, I'd say it's very clear. It has a couple of unique kind of engravings and symbols on the side and back and front of the gun, which is pretty cool also. But there is one thing you have to keep in mind when using this gun. Um, when you do fire all your shots, you will have to reload, and so you have to make sure you uncover when you reload so that you can take out the next enemy. Um, and that's pretty much it guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like and a rating in the comments below. And uh, let me know if you want to see more videos like this. As I get more and more exotic weapons, I'll be able to share these weapons with you guys and give you my thoughts and opinions on them. So yeah, thanks guys for watching and see you in the next video.